Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake. Last time we ventured through the city that was infested with the Taken, those who are possessed by the darkness, uh, with Sheriff Breaker and pretty much Barry. We got to a helicopter uh, that was going to take us to the Lady of the Light, Cynthia Weaver, whose home is a power station that seems to be up and running. and. The darkness has nothing to say about it, apparently. Uh, once we got to her, uh, she took us to, after a very long padding, uh, we got to the well-lit room where Thomas Zane had apparently left something for Alan. The clicker, which is the only thing that can defeat the darkness. The clicker is basically what Alan told Alice back in episode two. Uh, about uh, uh, basically like a clicking device for a lamp that Alan's mother gave to him when he was little to basically fend off the dark when he was scared. Once he pressed it, a magical light would come, would shine down and get rid of the darkness. So Thomas Zane had basically written that um, that clicker into existence for Alan to use against the darkness. Very confusing, but it all makes sense in some roundabout kind of way. So, let's Previously continue on. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Departure. Two years ago. sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain in one of my finer moments of self-deception i swore to quit drinking you know this pretty much accurately kind of gives yeah what a hangover feels like i haven't felt hungover in a very long time uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable now i could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun all you gotta do is just chase water, man. With every drink, just chase some, chase down some water. You won't, you won't be as hungover like this. All you gotta do. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Let's see if there's anything new before I go to the. Before I check the message. Looks like Alice ain't home. You know, Alan must do really well for himself if he can afford a place like this. Especially in New York. I mean, I don't know prices, but this has easily got to be like... What, like... One and a half million? Maybe two million? I would think. This is fairly spacious for a for a New York apartment. Okay. Is there anything down here? Didn't think so. I can't I can't run by the way. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey wakey! You should have your show on your table! If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this as your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! Okay, let's watch the show. 
TiVo. When was the last time anyone TiVoed anything? Well, I guess people, some people still do have TiVo. I don't know. Right now, it's just the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. We have a lot of like video on demand stuff nowadays, right? I gotta hold down focus. I'll just do this. Thank you. By the way, I just want to point out it is very 420p on my or 480p on my on my uh, uh, monitor as well. So it's not just you guys. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> But this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's Ooh. lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. There it is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Okay. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry. Most. Okay. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. That's how it started. That's how it always starts. With a fight. By the way, so the other guests... The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. 
Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Wow. Close the door when I leave. <laughs> Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. The other guest uh, in the panel, by the way, on TV, Sam Lake, that's one of the producers of the game. He's like the face Hello. of Remedy in Studios. Light, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Hmm. Sponsorship much? Alright. Let's head back down to the lake. But, um... I don't know how he's gonna type when there's no typewriter, because... There's no cabin because you know the, the, the there's no island, but we'll see. Maybe the clicker clicked it back onto existence. Why do you have your lights on, Alan? Just want to see if there's any like documents or anything. Nah, we're good. I'll go exploring a little bit. So yeah, I believe this is the final chapter of the game. Uh, so we're pretty much in the home stretch. And as I mentioned before, there are a couple of uh, DLC episodes as well. Ooh, hunting rifle. And I think I almost missed it. See, sometimes exploring works out for the best. Ooh, secret cash. Yes. The best part is it's sunlight, so nobody to harass me and waste my my uh, the items I just picked up. That's a long drop. I love how he just holsters the fucking rifle. My god, Alan. I'm nowhere near in shape and I can sprint longer than you can.
Um, okay, so obviously we can't go forward in the car. So, but I want to check out this area first. I mean, I guess I could just drive there, but whatever. It's right there. Not that way. Wait. There's a lock on there, but I can't... It's like a JPEG file. Like I can't break it off. Ooh, thermos. Okay. Wow, look at all this... Oh my god, look at all this popping. As I'm walking, mind you. Okay, I clearly wasn't meant to come this way. again getting closer I thought there was a lair Start using a hunting rifle. Eh, maybe not. Another car. Let's do it. If it's darkness, I'm definitely gonna ex not going to explore too much. Wait, are they following me? Wow, really? Miss me. Focus my light. Maybe there is no focusing light on this one. Hmm. Can I go in there, you think? Yeah, it looks like it. Someone's going to pop out of the door, I bet you. Whose room is this? Is this Nightingale's room? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Creator's Dilemma. Flashbangs. Oh, thanks, Agent. Don't mind if I do. 
Look after yourself and your co-workers. Could have fooled me, pal. Uh-huh. Fellas, can I? Ugh. Hello, can I rent a room, please? Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Majestic Motel. Refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music, no pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. What if you're a senior vet? Can you get a double discount? Uh, I'll keep the rifle, thank you. Okay, so let's head back. Oh, nice. You could have jumped on that with your car. Whee! <laughs> so that's where the road was blocked off. So that's where we need to go. Should I check out this area? Why not? Oh, I'm certainly going to get ambushed here. I certainly am. Wow, that is a steep ass drop. Nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything there either. Okay, I'll head back. I'll head back to the car. That's okay. Not everything has to lead somewhere. See a guy there in the distance. Can I shine my light on? Cannot. Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Baby. Drive over fifteen taken. The baby. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't, I don't. I don't need to fight that other shit. I'm good. That is a long ass bridge. Uh, you don't you don't suppose anything good's gonna come of this uh you don't think they just let me pass, do you? Any chance of that you think? 
apparently not. Oh. Okay, you got me. Haha. Uh -huh. Objects flying around. That's, that's awesome. You can stop now. What the hell? Yeah, we're going to take this slowly. Take this very slowly. How that didn't hit me, but it did not hit me. Let the light charge back up. Okay, we're good. I can't move. I gotta go around it, maybe? I think, I think we're okay. Yeah, we's good. Oh, nice. El Camino. El Camino. I don't care. Just go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. That was an impossible thing. I had to just keep on driving. I mean, it's kind of hard to do in this piece of shit, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just drive. Okay, you 
we'll go there. I will run. I will run. I will run. There we go. Seriously, all the way up there for one fucking flare. Seriously. What do you know I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stay in here and... Or you can take off. Oh shit. Not annoying at all. bit at a time. Let me take a sip of my tea. My cold tea at this point. Destroy all these. But fuck it, I'm going to. I killed him. Oh, where'd you come from? Um, excuse me. Yeah, I think it's better to just run at that point. Come on, I'm 
Oh no! No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Bye. Oh. Okay, first off, there's a box. Second, just go back in here and grab the stuff. Yeah, apparently I can. A fuck ton of shotgun ammo, but not a lot of uh, rifle ammo. Okay, I think that's good enough. How do you know this is the way to Cauldron Lake, by the way? I'm just I'm just asking. You're just going in random directions. Plus, it just occurred to me, if the clicker just made it, uh, if you press the clicker and it made it bright outside, and then darkness came and made it dark, why can't you just press the clicker again? I'm you know, just, just, just wondering. All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it. You must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. Oh boy, I have a feeling it's going to be another case of possession. Oh, hunting rifle. I didn't want the hunting rifle, but... I'll take more flashbangs. I'll take the flare gun.
Can I get down that way? I can. But first. But first. Let's open the gate. Oh, it is opening. Oh, hi. I don't suppose you brought any buddies, did you? Okay, good. I don't know what the fuck kind of possessed animal that is, but I don't care. We, I said we. All right, where am I going? That is certainly not the way. Seriously, where am I going? Yep, there's that tractor trailer. I'm gonna park back this way just because I know. I, I just know. Sounds like someone's going like, yo -hoo. No, he fucked it up. truck oh come on there's more enough space okay that was remarkably unremarkable if I can if it's gotten to the point where I can start calling what's gonna happen you, you become cliche at this point. What is that? Oh, it's just sparks. Nothing back here. Thank you for wasting my time. Alright, let's get a move on. I'm impressed he was able to start the car and move before he even got to the, the driver's seat. Alan Wake is just full of surprises. When I 
told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. All in a day's work, right? Nope, can't go that way. Must go up. Follow. So you tell me Cynthia Weaver went all around town, anticipated where Alan was going to go. Well, I guess maybe she read Thomas Zane's books, and because we're following Thomas Zane's story right now. Because Cynthia is the one that's been doing all this. She's the one that's been painting all this stuff. But yeah, I, I guess you could anticipate where we're going to be based on Thomas Zane's story. Because, again, we are following his story. Okay, do, we, do we really need to push that far? You know it's bad news if they got these lights. How many team rounds? How many shotgun bullets do I have? Thirty-two. You know, let's start using the, the shotguns. This is probably the perfect environment to do it too. Uh, I have flares. My oh my god, thirty flashbacks. I will never give her to you. Lovely. Oh, now you're giving me the hunting rifle again. No, I'm I'm okay with the shotgun. those two guys come on you gotta start sending more people at me and here come the people
Oh, there's two of them. Lovely. Now I'll change to the hunting rifle. If I can figure out where it was. Is it in here? It was in here. Uh, nope. Bottom one. Yeah. See how it all works out? And I still even had the the flare gun, which is basically like an insta kill. Oh my god! I even had more flares here. Jeez, I get I, I made it harder myself. I should have just used the flare gun since I had more ammo. How much? I have seven ammo. They're basically like insta kills at that at this point. And I still have ten flashbangs. I know I'm gonna lose all this stuff sooner or later anyway. Something's gonna happen, I'm gonna fall down a fucking cliff or something. Or I'm gonna get swept up in the darkness, I'm gonna wake up and all my items are gone. funny how I I walked into that one. Touche, touche. He anticipated where I was going to go, and he was right. I will give him that one. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. How can you tell? Oh, those birds. Oh, look at that stretch. Oh my god. Come on, Alan. Come on. You got it. You got it, boo. I'm like, jeez. I'm good to go. Oh, do we just fall in? Maybe? Yeah, somehow I doubt that would it would just work that way. Oh, I see him forming up there. I see them. I was aiming right at them. They fall in the light and kill themselves? That's so funny. That is so funny. Um, guess I go up there? Oh yeah, there's a hidden cache there. Alright. 
12 MOA. That was their own fault. That dude. Come on, bro. Why so shy? You know, I bet you they're between ravens, uh, crows, and blackbirds. They're probably crows. You know why? Because this game is one of seems like one of those games where they can't help but say it's a murder of crows. And I went in for thirty seconds and all the and all of them are gone. All the birds are gone. There's no way I killed him. I don't know where he is, but there's no way I killed him.
No touchy. I'm reached my limit of flares, which is twenty. I'll keep the flares on. That that that's a random thing to find in the middle of the forest. Um, a, a very random thing. Yeah, I I figured that was about to happen. Another one of these. Great. set it on fire oh hello can I go in there no oh there's items in there though Can I? You know what? I dare you. I fucking dare you. Come on. the flashbangs on for right now. This, this is where I need to go. Up there. Thanks for dropping that and helping me out, by the way. Yeah, this whole level isn't as bad as, like, the previous ones, because... I don't know, I guess they're actually giving me items. And it's not, like, confined spaces, you know? It's, it's actually out in the open. And there's not like 16 of them converging on me at the same time. Of course, I say that now. What? Oh. Okay. Well, it's okay. I was nowhere near it. It's okay. It's fine. car, the truck, El Trucko, oh, the, a boat, I don't know where I got a boat from, oh, jeez, that flew right over my head, that's a bigger boat, that is a, that is a freighter, Maybe. Okay. Some kind of freighter. Huh. 
I don't like the darkness. Making sure recording is still going fine. This playthrough is going very swimmingly. Or this episode, at least. I mean, not really much of a hidden area, but I will take it. What? What is that? The darkness. Where is her face? Yeah, th thank you for bringing this to my attention in the last chapter. This way. Alright, before I drop down. Oh, yeah. It's so good. I missed it entirely. Oh, this is a this is a battleground if I've ever seen one. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Alright, guessing we start you off first. Um, let's make sure we're fully reloaded. And I have my flashbangs. Goody. Oh, here they come. I don't know why I did that. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't know how you dodged that, but good on you. I think I'll keep the flare gun. And I'll stay here. Do that to yourself. Thought there was another fast guy. Guess not. I thought I... Okay. That was a waste of a flashbang. Oh, oh, jeez.
Um, let me look around. Oh, the oppressive force is still around. Fuck it. I'm okay. Not really hurting for items anyway. I don't know if, like, those... Oh. I don't know if those, like, clips with, um... I don't know if those clips with like Alice, like the Darkness of Alice, if they're supposed to be longer or if it's literally supposed to be like half a second long. Ah! Really? Flashbang doesn't do anything to these guys? guys not following me in the back. Wow. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, like, I don't know if that's supposed to be longer or not. Can, can you... Shit, man. That's really cool. Am I just supposed to break it down? Like, break everything down? There's a hundred batteries. Let me, let me try this. Okay. 
guy to be closer. I literally don't know what to do, man. into its heart to hurt it. Yeah, I get it, but I, I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, I see. In between. Ah. Uh, I did have the right idea. There we go. I don't know why you would drop it. Why don't you just keep it? Hell! Oh, I thought he was going to do a belly flop. I'm like, oh, that's going to kill him. another nightmare those dead yeah. eyes man jesus everything's fine you're home it wasn't a dream everything's fine turn the lights on turn the lights on shh baby the power's out there's no light come back to bed and i'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark my fear really it's your fear why aren't you afraid you're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Are you taking your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. I, I don't know what that is. What am I hitting? What did that say? Did that say clicker? Thanks, Tom. It has 
has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. You just said it has no heart. at all. Use the clicker. Bird? Oh, I see. The telephone call. Shopping cart? And a crate? Another bird? Barrel and phone? Oh, okay, thanks. I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I know. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alice, what are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alice? Stop. Put the light back on. It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. I had ridden myself across the ocean. I have no real idea what's going on right now. You're not my Barbara. Tom, let me go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, you naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. Your heart is filled with darkness. I'll cut it out. Ah! Ah! Take you back to the depths you came from. Filled with darkness. So are we kind of merging the two stories together at this point? Like, are we merging uh, Tom's story and Alan's story together at this point? Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? Let me go! Alice! Alice! I'm coming! Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now it's too late. It's his fault. You'll stay here forever. Now you will never get her back. There's a hardy carved out. Or Al uh, Tom I Parker. am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free.
I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness, cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. So this is back in the first night. Oh no! All I'm thinking is that, that all that confetti is going to be really bad for the fish when it lands on the lake. Okay, there is no music, no sound during these credits. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so... I'm so cutting this song out. Sorry, you guys won't be hearing this, but it's, um, I, I don't know the actual name of the song, but it's, uh, 
ground control to Major Tom by David Bowie. I think it's just called Major Tom. Or is it Starman? I don't know. I, I'm not a big David Bowie fan. But okay. Um, for those of you who are like, what the fuck is going on? I'm pretty sure I understand. Sam Lake. There's, there's the man. Uh, again, Sam Lake was the guy um, uh, when we saw the interview with Alan Wake at the beginning of the episode. Uh, he's the guy with like the long hair, was like sitting on the couch next to him, did like that face. Um, the reason he's he did that face is in the first Max Payne game, um, they actually took a cut out of like Sam Lake's face and put it as like the main. Uh, that that's how Max Payne looked in the first game. They changed it for like the second and third game, obviously, but. That, that's the running joke. Because he's always got like that constipated look on his face. Okay, but anyways. Um, so what happened at the end there? So what I gather is this whole story is basically like, you know, Alan Wake coming to Bright Falls, all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, being tangled with the darkness, it's all written by uh, Tom Zane. It's a story that actually came to life in Tom Zane. Uh, by Tom Zane, sorry. Um, back in, what did they say, like the 70s? Uh, when Tom Zane uh, disappeared. This was a story that he wrote to basically counteract the darkness. So, um what happened at the end there was, you know, Alan got to the point where like had Thomas Zane had written the story, uh, the ending rather. And Alan was saying like, he cut too many corners and that's how the darkness is still winning. So he wrote a different ending that kind of like meshed with Thomas Zane's story. Um, where, he seems to have sacrificed himself uh, to save Alice. Now, why did he do that? He said at the end, in stories, there has to be an arc. There has to be like, um, you know, to balance the scales, you ha there has to be a price for everything. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's not a meaningful story. Uh, you know, the some no lesson was learned, no... Um, act of sacrifice was made, that kind of thing, right? So Alan, um, as I said, sacrificed, he dove into the lake and uh, gave himself up to the darkness, in turn saving Alice. And as you can see, while he was still typing at the end, outside the windows, you could see like the darkness like creeping around because he is swallowed by the darkness. Um, what he meant by the last night, last line, it's not a lake, it's an ocean, that I don't know. Um, maybe it could make reference to the fact that this whole thing is a lot bigger than, than we all anticipated. Um, maybe it's not just happening at Cauldron Lake, but like maybe other parts of the world. Uh, that's the only thing I can really glean from it. I have no idea. So in the end, uh, when he finally confronted Barbara Jagger, um, or the darkness posing as Barbara Jagger, or wearing the skin of Barbara Jagger at least, um, you know, he put his hand where like her heart was, uh, out, you know, when Tanzi had cut it out, pressed the clicker, filled her with light, and basically, um, I don't want to say destroyed her, because you can't really destroy the darkness. Um, but at least... Um, had the upper hand and I guess was kind of able to renegotiate the terms like I will give myself up for Alice that's pretty much the only way you can really win against the darkness anyway you know what I mean so my thoughts all in all in the game um not quite how I remember it. Um, 
the combat certainly is we've come a long way gameplay wise um, over the last I don't know what's it been 15 years almost 20 years I don't even remember when this game came out I want to say mid 2000s maybe 2007 2008 something like that we've come a long way uh, and again I remember liking this uh, this this game was actually the reason why I wanted a 360 in the first place. I was so excited for this game, and then it got postponed and postponed, and eventually it did come out. Um, and I, again, I remember liking it. I remember liking the story. Now playing it again, story is still pretty good. I mean, it holds up pretty well. Um, maybe some changes here and there, especially with the dialogue, like quality control and the dialogue. But the gameplay, that could, that could use a lot of rework. Um, I do like the very, uh, uh, cosmic horror aspect. You wouldn't really consider this game to be a cosmic horror game, but it basically is. It's, it's the, the darkness. It's like, uh, something you don't really understand, something you can't really control, right? God knows where it came from. You could have come from, you know, existed, I mean... She even said at the end, like, I'm older than you can even imagine. That, to me, screams cosmic horror. Um, a lot of talking. A lot of talking. Um, even people talking over each other makes it confusing. Like Half the time, they were talking, and I wasn't even paying attention to what they were saying. Just because I lost interest. And I don't know, either I don't know who to focus on or I lost interest. Too much talking. Which some people like. I, I like dialogue, I like narrative, but... You know, it's not a book. It's a game. You know, especially in visual media. It's more of the show, don't tell kind of thing. And I get it, he's a writer. I, I fucking get it. But at the same time, th there's a limit. There's a reason why I can't read Tolkien, for example. I've never read... Uh, well, I don't want to say I've never read a Tolkien book. I have. I just, after the maybe the 12th page, I just stopped. Because I'm like... It leaves nothing to the imagination. It is way too descriptive for my taste. And I'm sorry, I know it's probably blasphemous to a lot of people out there, but it, I, I can't. I never read The Hobbit. I've heard that. I mean, it's a kid's book, but... Like, Lord of the Rings... Jeez, man. That book could probably be, like, cut in half. And you wouldn't lose anything of the story. It's just way too descriptive for my taste. And again, I'm not saying it's a bad writing or anything like that. A lot of people love it. It's just not my jam. Not my thing. And I love reading. So... Yeah, it, it, it still leaves some questions open um, about, like, uh, like who is Thomas Zane? Like, who is Barbara Jagger? Like, we know about them, but we don't know. We know that they are basically the catalyst of this game. But who are they really? Like, what are they about? Why did this whole thing happen? Why was that lake, Cauldron Lake, imbued with power? Um, who is Mr. Scratch? Uh, who we, we just saw a copy made of us near the ending. Like when we started to type and Thomas Zane basically uh, said like, oh, don't mind him. He's just Mr. Scratch. He's who's going to be replacing you. We, we know nothing about it. He seems fucking crazy. Now I'm wondering if Again, if you guys watch my playthrough of Control in the DLC, there was some mention of someone who was like harassing Ala, uh, Alice. Someone who looked like Wake but wasn't Wake. Like had like uh, crazy eyes and shit. Uh, was like threatening to like hurt her and shit. So I, I don't know what that's about. Um, maybe it'll be explained in the DLC. I have no idea. Maybe Alan Wake 2. Um, which, again, I'm super excited to play. Um, 
that said, I may hold off on Alan Wake 2 for a little bit, just because I'm feeling, excuse me, I'm feeling a little bit burnt out um, on this whole like Alan Wake thing right now, um, the, the especially the type of gameplay. We still have the two DLCs to go through, um, but we'll see how that goes. I have no idea what to expect from the DLC either. I don't know how long they are. I don't know uh, what they're about. I know there's two. Sorry, I'm just reading the, the credits. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. Um, what, uh, if you guys have played it, what your frustrations were, what you'd like about it. Um, let me know in the comments, uh, if, uh, if I, if I'm able to read the comments before I start Alan Wake 2, what, uh, without spoiling anything, if Alan Wake 2 is actually worth the follow-up. I've heard it is from critics. Uh, I haven't really heard much from the fans of Alan Wake. There's a, there's a big difference between critics and fans. There's a lot of people that worked on this game, eh? I remember when I first got the game of Alan Wake, there was like a collector's edition. Um, which is the one I got, where basically the game came in like a, a book style container. Um, it was like a, a huge case. It was like maybe like that thick. Um, you could fit like easily like you could fit like ten boxes of games in there. It was like so thick. I don't remember what was in it. Um, I think it was more of the novelty of like it looking like a, a book, like a novel itself, like the the case, the steel case. Um, but again, I've no, I don't remember at all who was in it. James McCaffrey. May he rest in peace. Il Cavilli. Joaquim Sickberg. That's a cool name. Yeah, a lot of uh, Swedish sounding names. Ilka Vili. Um, I don't really know what else to say at this point. Um, The funny thing is, um, in the first video I mentioned uh, that uh, near the end, uh, how um, I, I felt like I was getting copyright claimed based on like the how much music is in this game, like um, uh, like actual songs. And sure enough, when I started uploading like the first two videos, they got they got claimed. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them. It, it, it's not like full claim. It's only in certain countries it won't play. Um, I don't feel like going back and editing them, and I was talking through the music, and I don't want to cut out my my dialogue. In Dreams was specifically the song that was flagged by Roy Orbison. But we'll see how the rest of them go. If need be, I'll go back and edit. If, if like, all my videos get claimed, I might go back and edit. And re-upload. Yeah, look how many songs are in this game, man. Space Oddity, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bink video. When was the last time we saw a game with Bink video? I wonder if these are actually books. Sudden Stop and Departure. Alan Wake's journey will continue. Through the night will continue. I know that the sh with the show Castle, uh, where it's like an author uh, solving crimes and shit with the police, I know they actually released books under the, for, uh, the Castle name. Okay. So that's it. Uh, the episodes. Um, I, I don't know. I, as I said, I've never played the episodes before, so that's why I don't have the Nightmare difficulty unlocked. So we'll start them off as normal. But we will do that next time. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments. Let me know, um, again, Alan Wake 2, if you're looking forward to see what your favorite parts were um or what what should i expect at the very least don't don't spoil anything but uh let me know if it's like comparable to to this game uh, i'm i'm as i said i'm really excited to get started on it but i i feel like i'm just feeling a little bit burnt out and i don't want to do that to myself especially with Alan wake too so i might play another game in between but we'll see how it goes again. We got two more episodes to, to go. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.